Hey guys, this is Dennis here. I just wanted to show you guys my 1970 Lincoln Continental Mark III. It's for sale. I just put it on eBay last night. So you guys got six days to throw a bid in. So let me tell you about it. I uh, It's a barn find. It was sitting in a barn for 33 years. And uh, got it from a guy from Spokane, Washington. He had 99 cars in his barn when he passed away. And this is one of them. So I scooped it up, cleaned it all up, put some white walls on it bunch of parts into it get it a daily driver and this is it so let me show you around so it's got a 460 in it you know it's an automatic uh, this is not original paint this was uh, resprayed before it was put in the barn that was 33 years ago so 83 yep 83 and so you can see a little bit it was over sprayed a little bit right there but really nice you know Really nice paint, no dents, no chips, very clean, very straight, no rust on the body. Original top, original everything on the body, except it was resprayed and new white walls. Original hubcaps, oh yeah. All the chrome is there, everything's there. Now bear with me, this is gonna be a one take video because I don't know how to, uh, I don't have a program <laughs> to chop it up. So this is the motor, it's an AC car. Uh, I haven't tested the AC, I'm not sure if it works yet, but I will get you an update on that. But everything is, this thing just runs like a freaking dream, guys. It's ridiculous. I'll take you for a test drive as well. Um, but, yeah, it's got everything it needs. So, only issue, it's on eBay. I have it all posted. It leaks a little bit when you shut it off once in a while randomly. And it comes down right by the heater core. It drops down to the ground. I'm not sure why yet. It only, it only leaks for about 10 seconds. I'm not sure why yet. Maybe one, maybe one of you guys can help me out with that. <laughs> but yeah, stupid straight car, you know. So let me show you the interior now. So like I said, yes, original top. It was uh, it's pretty dirty, but I I took some conditioner to it and it cleaned right up. It's getting a little dirty now because it's been sitting in my barn again. But uh, you can see. It has a few little, let me see if you can see it in the video. It's got a few little, little bumps here. I think that's just minor rust. It's starting to, uh, start, starting to, uh, to show through the vinyl top. It's a little, it's a little, a little more here. Let me see if you can see it. There's just a couple spots right here. I'm pointing them out. There it is. You can see it right there. So anyways, but that's the only rust on the car itself that I'm aware of. Uh, let me show you the trunk while we're at it. So let's go spare tire. Doesn't have the uh, felt that, it, that they have originally in them. But you can see, I'll pull this up. You know, all very solid. Very solid car, it's ridiculously solid. And so, yeah, I was sitting in a barn for 33 years, untouched, you know? So it's, it's pretty solid. All right, show you the interior now. So, this is the interior. It's got 46,000 miles. Dash has no cracks in it, there's just a little, Ding right there. Radio works off and on sometimes. It's, I think the wire, there's a short in the wire or something, it's touching another wire, but it just turns on once, and it turns off randomly. But that's all original there. Door panels, everything. Everything's original. Even the carpet's original. That's the back seats. All the lights work. It's your headliner. 
perfect. This is the front seat. Nothing on it, just a little bit of tear. Just a little bit of worn right there and a little tiny tear right there. But everything folds. That's the original carpet. It needs a new carpet, it has that musky smell to it. Uh, okay, interior. That window, passenger window, is a little sluggish, so it's a little difficult. I'd look into it before I started rolling it down. I rolled it down once and I need help picking it back up. Seat doesn't work, power seat doesn't work. Haven't looked into it. All right, let's take it for a test drive. Now, let me tell you about this thing. I have, this is my Mazda right there, but I've never had a car that drove so straight down the freaking road. So give me a second here. Smooth, it just, transmission on this thing is freaking perfect. And with those white walls, man, it, it just drives like a freaking cloud. So give me a second here, We're, we live in the county, so it's gonna take us a little bit to get on some, some highway. Get some fresh air, it's a warm day in Washington State. I appreciate you guys watching my videos too. This is actually my first video ever. I really don't like the camera, but <laughs> we're in this age now, you know, where everything's technolog technological, so. All right, guys, let's hit it. So just nice and easy speed. Hands are off the wheel. Six Mustang I'm restoring. I got a pickup truck. I got a moped. I got too much shit, man. <laughs> At 21 years old, you can't keep it all, you know? Actually, you can, but I got a girlfriend, so you can't. <laughs> all right, give me one second here. Hands are off the steering wheel. appreciate that <laughs> yeah this is a pretty rare car man I uh, he had a 69 as well but man something about this 70 was just I just had to have it and so oh that's a sweet Camaro there all right turn it around lights are, are kind of shitty so it needs some new dash lights or a switch 
But um, yeah, I'm, I'm done with this video now. This is gonna be, this is way too long. Sorry I can't cut any shorter, guys. But I appreciate you guys watching it, and the link will be uh, below in the description for the eBay listing. And if you guys got any more questions, give me a call, give me a text, I'll leave my phone number there as well. And uh, bid on it, man. This is, this is, this is a dream car here, fellas. So, hope you guys enjoyed my video. Thanks a lot. Take care.